everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today I'll be going over the fourth and final rotator cuff muscle. If you haven't viewed the previous ones that I've made, the, and those are the teres minor, the supraspinatus, and the infraspinatus. You can view those in the previous videos that I, that I have made. But for today we're going to just go over the subscapularis. Okay, so just kind of like an FYI, the subscapularis is actually the most powerful of the four rotator cuff muscles, which in turn generally um, leaves it up for injury. Okay, and this usually tends to happen mainly toward in any uh, like throwing activities or events or anything like that, um, but that's normally where it ends up getting injured. So like every other muscle functions video I have made, I will go over the location and then build off of that, what, followed by functions and then finally some exercises so you know how to work this muscle and to strengthen it as well. So to start off, the location of the subscapularis is actually originated on the entire anterior surface of the subscapular fossa. Okay, now that is pretty much on the anterior surface on the scapula or also known as your shoulder blade. Okay, and then inserts onto the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Okay, now your scapula sits right on the back of your rib cage. Okay, now thinking anatomically, we have the anterior, which is front, and then posterior, which is back. Okay, now with the scapula, that is the same, which means that the subscapularis originates between the rib cage and your shoulder blade. Okay, so it's actually inserted right in between there. It's kind of pinched between your sub, your scapula and the rib cage. Okay, it's kind of sandwiched between there, but it is attached to the anterior surface of that scapula, okay, in that fossa. So it's kind of hollowed out there. Okay, and then runs up here, okay, under here, up and around, and actually inserts onto that lesser tubercle of the humerus which is pretty much center of your humerus right here in the front. Okay, so it comes from all the way back here and then wraps up and ends up right here. Okay, now as far as functions go, we're looking at functions all related to this shoulder joint, also known as the glenohumeral joint. Okay, we're looking at functions such as internal rotation. We're also looking at adduction. Okay, and then extension. Okay, so again you're looking at internal rotation of the glenohumeral humeral joint, adduction of the glenohumeral humeral joint, and also extension of the glenohumeral humeral joint. Okay, and then the fourth and final function of the scapularis is to actually stabilize your humerus or your arm into the glenoid fossa, which is a pretty shallow uh, fossa for that big tubercle to actually sit into. Okay, so it's a very shallow joint, so we need all the help it can get in order to keep your shoulder where it's supposed to be. Okay, so as far as the functions go, the main, uh, the typical functions of the subscapularis is actually uh, helped out with or done with the latissimus dorsi and the teres major. So whenever you're doing your lat workout or your teres major workout, most likely you're going to be working your subscapularis, which makes the subscapularis the lesser powerful of the three muscles, only because of the close proximity to the actual joint. Okay, the, re the rest has more leverage and more pull that it can apply more force. This muscle, however, due to you know the curvature and everything else and the close proximity of the muscle to the joint it doesn't have the leverage that the other muscles do have on the bone or the joint or anything okay so it's lesser powerful of those three but it does do those movements okay also with stabilizing the scapula as well okay since the subscapulus is between the ribs is sandwiched between the ribs and the scapula so it's on that anterior surface okay the rhomboids actually help 
stabilize that scapula into place so that the scapula can accomplish or um, what's the word I'm looking for here um, uh, cat caught my tongue excuse me uh, pretty much do the function that is supposed to do right pretty much okay I pretty much lost my words there but the rhomboids aid the subscapularis so the scub subscapularis can do what it's supposed to do correctly to its full potential okay so we're looking at exercises mainly for you know latissimus dorsi and the teres major any lat pull downs rope climbs anything like that internal rotations you can use the functions and apply force to them that will also help or aid in the development or strengthening for the subscapularis I'm going to go ahead and insert some exercises for you right here where the muscle originates and inserts onto but if you have any questions or comments please post them below in the comment section but please keep in mind I am not a physical therapist and I am not a doctor I cannot cure or treat uh, any injuries or any issues please keep in mind I am a certified personal trainer through NSCA and that is where my education lies so if you have any questions regarding as far as exercises or anything like that Please feel free to ask, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and leave comments. You can share it with a friend, pass it along on your social media or anywhere. It doesn't matter. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Happy training, and I hope everybody has a productive week. See you guys later.